the channel. I'm super f***ing pumped right now. We just had a massive W for the Evo. Uh, so I just got to the shop. Uh, the dude a couple units over actually owns a Cerakoting business and he's he does a whole bunch of Cerakoting for some like ro local race teams and whatnot. Um, and he has an Evo and he came over, we were talking yesterday. I was like, hey man, you got any spare Evo parts you're looking to sell? I was like, I need an eight harness, uh, non-ACD. And you can find, there's one on eBay right now. A dude's asking like 900 to a thousand dollars. It's absolutely absurd for an engine harness. Bro, he just came in clutch and got us a full engine harness, no broken clips, everything there for fucking three hundred dollars. Dude, I'm so pumped! Oh my god, you got no idea right now. So um let me hop in the shop and open everything up and get all, all this stuff all, all this other stuff loaded. I can't even talk right now. Uh, we also got like FP02 housing, dump tube, all the other good stuff for the Evo. Um super excited. Let, let me open shop. All right, you guys, like I said, we are not gonna be wasting any time with this Evo. We are on to more Evo stuff. So today I wanna get the front end pulled off the car, which is gonna be the headlights, the bumper, uh, the intercooler core, things of that nature. There's one hole I need to fix for the intercooler. I don't think I have a riv nut big enough for that one right now. I don't think I brought any. Um, the headlights I need to take home, bake them in the oven, open them up, refinish them, clear them, uh, and clean them. We're also gonna fix the chassis harness up here that goes to like the battery and everything like that. Get that all looking good. Get this new engine harness in the bay. So, uh, the first thing I'd say we do is let's pull off the front end. Let's get the bumper and everything off. Let go. Bumper, you're off, that was easy. Where do I put you? You can go right here. Intercooler core's next. Headlights next. Dude, there's so much sand in here. Red light or sand. Dope, now that we got the front end assembled, I'm gonna run through here with some engine degreaser. We're gonna degrease everything, clean it up nicely, uh, and start fixing and running harnesses. We have to do that harness down there. I need to drill out. There's a broken bolt here that we need to get out and retap that or put in a rib nut on that one. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do quite yet, but something needs to happen there because that's the other mount for the intercooler. Uh, but let's first start just by cleaning everything. So that way we can start running some wiring and getting all of this situation and mess taken care of. Dude, for real though, now that we have like this harness here, I feel so much less stressed about this thing because now I don't have to worry about trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do for a harness. I got one. Now that I've got this cleaned up for the most part, let me start going through this harness here. I'm gonna start pulling off some of this old sheathing on here, uh, redoing a lot of this with the harness tape that I use. It's actually for German cars like Volkswagen, Audi, things like that. This stuff, it works fantastic. I use this on the Subaru also, so I'm gonna pull off all that old sheathing. It's not gonna look as pretty. I may keep it if it works and it stays in one spot, um, but let's go through here and fix all this wiring. Well, if this is not a familiar sight, uh, at least it's not as bad. So um, this is just the front part of the chassis harness that I am digging into now. I'm really glad that I pulled all the sheathing off this uh, to see what the hell is going on with this thing. We've got cut connector here, um, cut connectors here. I'm not quite sure what this red and white one goes to. Actually, the red and white one goes to that, the black. Okay, so I do have where all these connectors go. Uh, luckily, I was able to salvage them off of this spare one that I bought off of eBay just for those three connectors, but it is what it is. I don't know what they go to, but we'll figure it out. It can't, it can't be that hard to figure out where those go. This harness is pretty nasty. It's like Venom from Spider-Man, like uh, did his business all over these wires and there's just sticky black goo 
everywhere. Dude, it's so gross. Uh, before I go to town on repairing this and getting those connectors put on there, I am going to toss in this new harness just so I'm not stepping on it anymore. That way it's up off the ground so I can go ahead and uh, kind of move that harness out the way over there. And let's toss in our new engine harness. We'll get it plugged into the ECU. All the wires ran in here. The fuse box is put in here and everything plugged in that needs to be plugged in up here. Um, just so that way I don't have five engine harness bundles all on the ground at once. This one luckily is just plug and play. No work needed, which is dope. Um, this end is going to go through the firewall though. So I kind of need to untangle whatever's tangled over here. There we go. That's all I needed. That comes out. What does this go to? Is this an ACD pump? plug that can't be i don't have acd i don't think it is i was told it's a non-acd harness but that looks like an acd plug fun would life be if things were easy right um i should have checked part numbers um the dude sold me a harness for an evo with acd 0506 i have an 04 with no acd which means that harness won't work for me what I can do though is harness merge them, take what I need off of the ACD harness connector and plug wise and move them over to my harness that doesn't have stuff. And then we're going to have to sit there, reloom this entire harness and clean it up and make it look presentable and better. So I'm gonna load up both of these harnesses into trash bags. We're gonna swing back to the house, lay them out on the garage floor and start merging these two harnesses into a single harness. So that way I have a harness for my Evo. I just spent 350 bucks on this. I'm not buying another harness. Back to the house. Okay, so here I have our clapped out harness. Here I've got an OEM harness. Game plan here is take what we need from this harness, put it on that harness, reloom that harness, make that harness look like this harness, but without the ACD shit on it. So let's start going to town. The first thing I need to do is strip off all the old sheathing on this one. So that way we can start fresh re-sheathing and figuring out what connectors are gonna go where. So I've been going to town on this wiring. I stopped last night, it's the next morning. Let me show you where we left off. It's starting to look pretty usable again, which is good for us. And this isn't like the harness stuff that I've done in the STI where I started cutting things out and whatnot. This we're, we're just relooming and adding back in what's missing. That's all we're doing here. So it just looks like a mess of wires right now. That's all garbage that I've pulled off of this harness. Luckily this harness is giving me the path that the, the wires need to run, what branches out, what keeps going, things of that nature. Plus I can pull connectors off of this one to use on our harness. Now I looked online last night to see if I could use this harness instead of this one and I can't. The ECU pinout is different on the ECM side and there are some missing connectors that would go to like relays and such. So, so up here is what I've done so far. So we've gotten up to this branched portion here uh, where it comes back. I took the uh, moldings off of that one to use on this one. Uh, runs back some more to here, goes back. This is firewall. These branch out. Now some of the connectors here are different, which is why I cannot use that harness there, um, as well as some of the ECM connectors over there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna resheath all of this with this nice nylon braid stuff that I've been using, um, and actually heat shrink it. I've been deep pinning connectors and repinning them to be able to put this like nice sheathing on here to protect the harness and make it look half decent um, compared to what it looked like before. So I have a lot of work to do today with this harness. This is probably gonna be an all-day endeavor getting this thing back to where it needs to be. So. Let me jump back into it and start doing more fun wiring stuff here. Many hours later. All right, you guys, this is incredibly time consuming and I'm just gonna zip through this, but you, this will give you guys an idea of what I'm doing here. So uh, we're literally just remapping everything. You guys can see I've got this whole section of the harness done here. Um, connectors are repaired, everything like that. Any damaged connectors I'm pulling off of this one, depinning them, repinning them on this one. If you don't know how to depin a connector, um, 
This very tiny pick is what I'm using and typically there's a small little lock you just push down on and then you can pull the wire right out of it, um, get, the, get the pin out and then you can get things like this done. So I'm just gonna keep going to town on this but before we do this, I gotta talk to you guys about today's video sponsor. Look at this turbo. Cool. Now that I've got your attention, I wanna talk to you guys about today's video sponsor, which is our friends over at Simply Carbon Fiber. You guys know I you, you guys know I love Simply Carbon Fiber. They've been a supporter of the channel for a while now. They're having an awesome sale right now of up to 20% off on any of their carbon fiber goodies that they have on their website, which is literally all they do. It's simply carbon fiber. They got carbon fiber wallets with money clips. So you don't lose your cash. Don't be like me and lose your cash. I lose my cash all the time, which is why I never carry cash. You got awesome sunglasses that are actually polarized and fit your face extremely well. I bring these things with me everywhere I go in the BRZ. I'd say the STI, but I, I, I don't drive this car. What am I saying? They are strong, lightweight, and look stylish. We like to stylize our cars with carbon fiber. Why not do it to our bodies too? If you like sunglasses, if you like wallets, Actually, those are necessities. I'm not even going to say if you, need it. if you like them. You need them. If you like watches, cufflinks, phone cases, all that kind of stuff in carbon fiber, go ahead, jump down into the description. There's a link below. Remember, you guys get 20% off until Father's Day. Get your dad something. Get your dad some carbon fiber. Dads like carbon fiber, right? I don't know. Dad, if you see this, let me know if you like carbon fiber. I'll get you some carbon fiber goodies. I've been using their wallet for a while now. This thing is actually a lot stronger than I was anticipating. I was very skeptical, skeptical of this thing at first. It holds a ton of cards in here. I think I legit have like 10 cards in here which is way more than I need to be carrying on a daily basis but the low profile design makes it so you're not sitting on a mountain in your pocket no one wants to be sitting on that it's bad for your posture also so if you guys do want to snag anything whether it's sunglasses wallets cufflinks watches phone cases you name it once again that link is down below in the description for you guys now let's get back to wiring in some Evo engine harness stuff this it's a nightmare this is day three of harness and um, I'm happy to say that the harness is done. I realized something as I was going through this. Um, the last owner actually deleted ABS out of the car and there's no ABS module on the firewall. So he swapped over all the brake lines from an Evo RS, which didn't come with like ABS, power windows, all that stuff. We have power windows and everything like that. Our model is a GSR. Well, I believe it's a GSR. We don't have sunroofs. I don't quite understand how Mitsubishi Evo models work. I have no sunroof, power, everything. Now I have no ABS, so I don't quite know. But um, the harness is done. Pretty happy with it. There's no missing connectors on it, uh, with the exception of the deleted ABS off of there. But aside from that, dude, this thing looks fantastic. I'm happy to run this in the car now. So this is the remnants of what's left of the Evo 9 harness after I went through there, um, dissected it, pulled out what I needed. Um, this, I'll keep this in the back rack just to have it around because these harnesses are hard to come by and they're very expensive. Um, so if I do need more connectors off there, wires or anything like that, I can totally snag them off of this but this harness came out absolutely beautiful so i've got everything re-terminated down here everything is wrapped with this nice uh like heat shrink loom and whatnot oh no that piece came out right there i'm gonna have to retape. i'll tape that up uh, i did repin all of the injectors for the injector dynamics um injectors that were running so everything's repinned for id injectors at this point um all of the connectors i have repaired with the ones from the other harness that i had um everything is loomed absolutely beautiful in here so that way uh, we know where everything goes i made sure when i was taking measurements off of that um to make sure all right this branch goes out like 12 inches and then I branch it out and things like that. So this emulates pretty close to an OEM Evo 8 uh, wire harness at this point. I'm not gonna go ahead and redo this entire back section that's all gonna be under the dash so it's not a huge worry to me at all. Um, I just wanted to make sure that the engine bay stuff is what looked pretty and was functional. On top of that, this just got dropped off as well so we're gonna run this over to the shop. This is the ETS cap back for the JDM bumper on the Evo. Uh, because I didn't have a cap back, I still need a catalytic converter uh, but now that we have the downpipe, the O2 housing, and the cat back, we pretty much have the entire exhaust system. Now. And speaking of exhaust systems, uh, we also got the external wastegate. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up real quick uh, for 14.7 PSI in that wastegate. Um, and then after that, I need to go pick up the camshafts for the Evo, I just, or for the Evo, for the Subaru. I just got a call saying that the camshafts are done. So tomorrow, um, I'm gonna jump back into the EG33, swap the camshafts, get the motor back in the car, start bolting everything back up. So that way we can start getting that stuff going. I did get 
get, I'm sorry, there's a lot of updates right now because it's been like two or three days since I've been doing all this stuff. I did get more stuff for the Subaru, such as the, uh, this is like the initial downpipe off thing for the fender exit and I got the beautiful tip for the fender exit this thing is dope uh, this three and a half inch teardrop stainless steel um, gonna work wonders I also got the garnish plate for it so tomorrow we can start doing a lot more of the Subaru stuff while I wait for some more of the Evo parts to come in because uh, I still need that transmission input shaft seal um, and as, as well as a couple bolts so we need to get the Subaru's engine back in the Subaru and then we can put the 4G63 into the Evo so let's get this wastegate set up first Let's go pick up some camshafts for the Subaru. We just need to go to the shop. I can toss those in the Evo box. Bong! Boop. I gotta pull up a spring chart to see what springs we need for this. That's MVR, we need MVS. No, we want black and red. That would have been more pressure. This is what we want. If you don't have one of these C-clamps, uh, definitely get one. They make your life a hell of a lot easier when doing stuff like this. It's like a diffusing a bomb, dude. Put these last two screws in. Bada bing, bada boom. Then we got our wastegate springs set up. So that way it's a lot easier. Boom! Wastegate set up. I'd much rather do it here where I have all the tools than struggle with it at the shop. So this can go in our Evo box. Let's go pick up some camshafts for the Subaru now. Woo, back from Delta and we got our cams. Now I gotta, I gotta say this. If you are local to Washington, I'm sure you've been to Tacoma. It's not much better than what it used to be. I legit almost hit some crackhead on a bicycle who last minute decided he wanted off the sidewalk because I'm going 45 down the street in the BRZ, slam on my brakes, honk at this dude, and then he looks at me like I'm in the wrong. I, do, I, hate, I hate Tacoma with a passion. It's such just a shit city, but you know what? It don't matter. We got our cam gears, which means tomorrow I can fix the Subaru and get the motor back in. I can put that engine back in the Subaru tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, I could do it tonight, but I don't really care to do it tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. It's not like the car's going to run any, any sooner. So I need to run this big old box of Evo parts over to the shop tonight. Um, I'm also replacing all of the interior trim panels in that thing. I don't want to feel like I'm driving a clapped out Evo because it's not gonna be clapped out by the time I'm done with it. Um, so I'm getting all new interior trim panels for that thing as well. So I'll probably install that harness while I'm over there. I'm not gonna film that. It's literally just running a harness, plugging it in and bolting it up. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'm very excited for tomorrow to be cracking on the Subaru again to get this thing going, especially with our new turbo setup and everything like that. So these cam gears, um, we have provisions in place to ensure that we will not run into the problems that we ran into last time with the cam gear bolts backing out. We're gonna be using Loctite, Nord Locks, and stronger bolts to ensure that this does not happen again. Um, and think about it, dude, it really wasn't that long of a turnaround time to get new cams made either. What, it was a week, so. Super pumped on that, but like I said, that is all I got for you guys on this one. Um, apologies for this video going out a little late. That wiring harness just took me so long to get made. That was two and a half days worth of work in just wire harness stuff, and I, I totally get it. The wiring stuff is so boring to watch, which is why I cut a lot of it out, but anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you're excited for the Evo coming back to life, especially with all the parts coming in for it now, um, excited for the STI to come back to life, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and you want to be, I'll put it in one of these corners. No idea which one quite yet, but with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies. Woo!